Hey guys, it's Push to Insanity, and we're just watching today the second video that I'm gonna be uploading. This is gonna be a 3D intro template for Cinema 4D and After Effects. So the first thing you guys want to do is open up the Cinema 4D folder and install the font if you guys don't already have it. Once you guys have installed the font, go ahead and open up the Cinema 4D part of your intro. To edit your top text, select both the top mo text and replace your top text with whatever you want. Once you guys have replaced your top text, do the same thing with your bottom text. So select both the bottom mo text and replace your bottom text with whatever you want. And if your text is long like mine, you'll notice that some of the letters are misplaced. So to fix this, select the plane effector and go to where the keyframe is located, which is at 220 frames and move your plane effector away from your text and make sure that you guys hit the keyframe button. So now you guys will need to do this with the bottom text as well. So select the plane effector one and go to where the keyframe is located, which is at 250 frames and move the plane effector away from your text and hit the keyframe button. I'm gonna save my project file so you guys don't have to do this step. So once you guys have finished editing your text, if you guys want to edit the color, double click the orange material and edit the color as well as the reflection. And you guys can change the color to whatever you want. Once you guys have finished editing the color and your text, you guys are pretty much ready to render your Cinema 4D part of your intro. So go to your render settings and save your intro to a folder and you guys can start rendering out your Cinema 4D part of your intro. Once you guys have finished rendering your Cinema 4D party intro, go ahead and open up the After Effects folder. And in this folder, you guys have provided with the music and the background file. So if you guys don't have the plugins that are used to create this background effect, you guys can simply import this file onto your After Effects project and you guys can get this background effect without having those plugins. So now go ahead and open up the After Effects party intro. In the After Effects part of your intro, you guys are only missing one file, which is the intro template render. So to fix this, right click your missing file and replace the footage with what you guys rendered in Cinema 4D. Now I didn't actually render out this intro template, I'm just demonstrating how you guys are supposed to do this step. So I'm going to give you guys an example. So when you guys render out your intro template, you guys are going to do it as a PNG sequence. Therefore, it's going to render 300 frames of your intro as PNG files. All you guys will need to do is open up the first PNG file, which is the PNG file of four zeros. and make sure that PNG sequence is selected. Once you guys open up this file, this should replace your missing intro template with your edited text that you guys rendered in Cinema 4D. And if you guys already have the background in your intro scene, you guys are pretty much ready to render your intro. However, if you guys don't have that background effect, simply import the file that I've given you guys in the download, which is the background.mp4. Once you guys have imported this file onto your After Effects project, drag it onto your timeline under your intro, and you guys will get that background effect. Once you guys have that background effect, you guys are ready to render your intro. So go to composition, Add your composition to your render queue and you guys can render our intro. If you guys like this video and you guys want to see more free 3D intro templates for Cinema 4D, please let me know in the comment section below and give the video a like to show your support. And I'll see you guys next video.